Hi everybody, it's Allie with the Spiegel Mom Scraps Design Team. So I am scrap lifting Jody today, aka the boss lady. And I love this layout where she uses this big cut file. So I'm going to try to recreate that. So I've started with my background. Um, I just put some white acrylic paint down and let that dry so that I can do a mixed media background on the black and white stripes. I just wanted the white to kind of make the mixed media pop off of there, but I really wanted to use the black and white stripes. So I'm just starting out with some of the creamies from Shimmers. This color is My Clementine. Um, it's just a really light orangey color. And I plan on using the Puppy Dog Tails sequins. And they're just like these gorgeous blue and orange combination. I'm a sucker for a blue and orange combination. I always have been. I can remember being in high school and you know, did you guys ever draw pictures to each other like signs with your names on them and all these little things? Yeah, I did that and I always used blue and orange. It was my favorite thing ever. So, But then while it's still wet, I'm going to take my spritz and because I'm super scared to actually spray it on my paper, I just kind of dab it on where it's wet and I really like the way it runs together and the way it looks so that one was Caribbean sunset and I let that dry and then now I'm going to add the blue to my orange background so I'm using two I'm using chance of rain which is this darker color um, and that's also a spritz from shimmers and then I'm also going to use frostbite um, which is a vibes and it's a little bit lighter of a blue with a little bit more shimmer to it. It's really pretty. So I'm going to add this so I've got my blue and orange background to go with my blue and orange sequins. And I have to say Chance of Rain and Frostbite are really fitting for me right now because we're expecting a huge winter storm here in Texas and it's supposed to rain and be freezing which is not typical for us. So yeah, chance of rain and frostbite, pretty, pretty perfect. <laughs> so I just wet down where I want to put it and then let it kind of run together and do its thing. And when it dries, it just, it looks really cool. It's fun. So just dab it on there. Maybe one of these days I'll get super ambitious and actually spray it. That might be crazy, but... <laughs> So we're going to keep on just putting on the blues and I also like to just kind of flick it and get like lots of little splatters. Now my cut file is going to go over most of this, but in Jody's original, she makes this huge shaker pocket in the center and it's just genius. So I'm going to do that too with some vellum. Um, so you'll get to see some of the mixed media behind the shaker pocket and poking out from behind the cut file. And you guys, this cut file is in the Spiegel Mom Scraps store. Like, you can use it too. It's an awesome cut file. Um, there's actually a lot of awesome cut files. So you should definitely check that out. But I'm just going to use my heat gun, kind of get everything from pooling I don't really want pooling um like when the water pools it kind of warps the paper too much so I'm just going to dab it and then use my heat gun the heat gun does a cool thing a cool effect too like kind of blows the paint around a little bit so you get more of that splattery look I'm going for something just super messy but fun so the heat gun helps with that too and I'm impatient I want it to be dry immediately so I can play more so once I get that all finished, I'm going to start backing my cut file. And I love 6x6 six six paper pads. I know that some people don't really use a lot of 6x6 six six paper pads, but I love them. And this one I'm using is actually scraps left over from lots of different paper pads. Um, but that's kind of what I love about them is they're great for backing cut files and you just need little pieces and parts here and there 
especially for a cut file like this where I want to just do all those little pencils. I just need little strips of paper for them. So I'm just going to go in with my fine line tip here and glue down all of the little pieces and parts in the different colors that I want. And I'm sticking with my blue and orange theme here, of course. But once those are all like stuck down where I want it, then I can just turn it over and cut the excess off. Um, and it's really easy to do and it's just time consuming. So um, if you go right under the cut file or the cut piece, the black, then it's pretty easy <clears throat> and you get a nice clean cut. So yeah, like I said, it's just, this is really tedious and time consuming. So I'm only doing a couple on camera for you. And once I get all of that done, then I can start making my giant shaker pocket. So I'm just backing each one of these. Um, some of them I'm making to look like regular pencils and then some colored pencils, but just in my blue and, and orange theme here. So once that's all finished, I'm going to go ahead and take my awesome vellum. And this is and it, this is a piece of vellum that also has little hearts on it, which I just love. And I've had this in my stash forever, I think. So I'm just going to chase my circle and cut it out just a little bit bigger than the black outline of the cut so that it fits underneath there perfectly and can hold all of my gorgeous sequins. So now I'm going to glue this down and... Then I'm going to put the sequins in and glue it over the sequins. And then I'm going to actually sew around it with my sewing machine. Um, so yeah, once I get this part down and then I put my sequins down, then I'll glue this cut file on top of the sequins and let that dry and go just around the circle with some white thread on my sewing machine. I just like the way it looks and I also think it just really holds those sequins in. I'm always worried that my shakers are going to come undone and I'm just going to have a sequin mess everywhere. But this kind of ensures that they're sewn in there. They're not coming out. <laughs> so here it is all sewn down. Sequins are secure. And then obviously this is where my picture is going to go because I'm going off of Jody's layout and I don't really want to go too heavy on embellishments. There's already a lot going on um, with this giant shaker and the cut vial and all of the mixed media in the background. So I'm just going to do some scraps here and there, um, still keeping with my blue and orange theme, of course. And I had to go hunt down a piece of blue cardstock there, but... I wanted it to be a darker blue to go with the darker blue sequins in the puppy dog tails mix. Um, so I just glue down my picture and trim around it to make it perfect. And then I'm going to add kind of like a subtitle, I guess, because Learn, Study, Dream is really like the title here. Um, so I've got this little um, banner. It's like a clear banner piece um it's from die cuts with a view but it's really old it came in a paper pad and I don't still have the paper pad I only have the sticker sheet that it came with so I can't remember what it's from then I've got a few other stickers from my stash one that's like a little light bulb and says genius and then a busy day. This was actually a first day of school photo, a first day of school selfie. Um, and he's, he went into the first grade this year, so he's still okay with taking selfies with mom, which I love. But here I'm just adding a little bit of string, like a little string nest kind of thing. You know how Missy Whitten does it. <laughs> Um, I like to do that when I sew, just to add a little more depth and dimension to the layout. And it makes sense to me, like, if I sew on a layout, then I can add the thread. But if I don't sew on a layout, 
I feel really silly adding the little thread. So yeah, that's my rationale. I don't know if that makes any sense. So here's where I'm going to add in my little subtitle, and it's just selfie love. And then I've got like a little button, a wood button that says go. Um, but I'm really loving these tiny little letter stickers. Are you guys using these? I got them, I think, at Hobby Lobby. It's a whole book of them. And I'm pretty sure, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm pretty sure they're um, like $20 for the pack. But I got it for 50% off, so it was only $10. And there's so many of these little letter stickers. It's from Me and My Big Ideas. So it's this huge packet of them. I love it. Here I've got my Take Note collection um, ephemera from Fancy Pants Designs. And that's a really like back-to-school kind of collection. So I wanted to use some of that and... I found a little number one that I can add and a little orange piece. And I love those little push pin guys. Those are so cute. All right, so I'm going to go in once again with my little letter stickers that I love so much. I just love like that the background on them is clear. I think they're for planners, honestly. But I really don't care because I just love them so much and so I'm gonna write in with the one um I'm just gonna write first grade because he's going into the first grade in this picture it's his first day of school for first grade and it's perfect um in this light you can't really see the black stickers as well on the photo but in the picture and in real life you can see it perfectly so once I get those all down and add in a little bit of journaling, this layout is complete. It's one of the things that I really like about scrap lifting because the roadmap is already there for you. It's super easy to just follow what the original creator did and it's guaranteed to come out pretty awesome because Jody's layout was so awesome. So I really love scrap lifting for that reason. Well, I hope you guys are inspired to scrap lift or just inspired in general. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to use code AllieG to save 15% off in the Spiegel Mom Scrap Store. There it is. Have a great day.